As a complete beginner, it's easy to feel discouraged. You're probably on YouTube watching these amazing videos from people who have been creating videos for a very long time and you might feel like it's impossible to ever get to that level. However, in this video, we're gonna be sharing with you our three-step formula that's gonna help you create amazing videos as a complete beginner. Hi guys, I'm Jason. This is Jonathan and in 2019, we started off as complete beginners and we were in the same exact position as you. We started taking an interest in videography, but we had no idea what goes into making an amazing video. However, as we shot more and more, we discovered a pattern in making an amazing videos and we turned it into a three-step formula. Step one of the three-step formula is develop a story. There's only one thing in life throughout centuries that could stop a human being in his track and actively engages him, and that's storytelling. The fact is, if you don't learn how to tell stories in your video, you're always gonna remain a low-level videographer. Because what is video? A video in its purest form is a vehicle for you to move a thought, feeling and emotion into the brain of your audience. However, most beginners make the mistake of not having story in mind when they shoot or when they edit. And guess what? We made that mistake too. When we first started, we would get so excited about getting the best camera equipment and getting the coolest B-roll footage that when it comes to editing, we would get so lost on how to combine it to make the final video. So how do we create stories in our videos? Well, we do something called pre-production. Pre-production can be broken down into three key parts. The first part is finding your reference video. This is generally our first step when we start pre-production because we want to get an idea on the mood and the vibe of the video that we're trying to create. And there's nothing better than getting inspiration from the best videos on the internet. Once you've found the reference videos that you found inspiration from, we move on to part two, which is creating a shot list. This is where we screenshot the shots that we really love from our reference video and put them down onto our pre-production document. This is so that when we go out and shoot, we have a shot list that we can reference from and look at during the shoot. So what I'm always looking out for when creating my shot list is definitely like the different camera angles they use in the reference videos and also the camera movements and the general color of the shots. Because this will determine part three of pre-production, which is organizing what location and what time you want your shoot to be on. I can't stress how important that is because choosing the right location can really determine the production quality of your shoot. The time of your shoot also greatly affects your production quality. Generally, I recommend sunrise or sunset to be the best time to shoot because the lighting generated from that golden period would give you the best cinematic footage. Think about creating amazing videos like cooking up a tasty dish. Your pre-production document is your recipe to create an amazing video that tells a story and makes your viewer feel something. Without doing this first step, it's like you're walking into a kitchen, randomly pulling together a few different ingredients and hoping for the best. If you're an expert chef, this might work, but if you're a beginner trying to learn how to cook, it's not gonna end very well. These days, we always prepare a pre-production document. We print out the document and we're able to reference it throughout the shoot day. Doing this one step will completely change the way you create videos and your approach to storytelling. Step two is to go out and get the footage and audio so that you can tell your story. Because your videos are made of those two things, your footage and your audio, which includes music, voiceover, or any sound effects. Being able to capture amazing footage as a beginner videographer essentially boils down to these three main things. Number one is your camera settings. Learning your camera settings is what's gonna allow you to get a nice looking image even if you're just using a $500 beginner camera which is actually the camera that we started off with when we were complete beginners. The key things that you wanna pay attention to when it comes to your camera settings are things like your resolution, which is for example, whether you're shooting in 4K or 1080p, your frame rate, which dictates whether you shoot in actual speed or slow motion, your ISO, shutter speed and aperture, which dictates your exposure level, which is essentially how bright the image is in your camera, and then also your white balance. If you can become familiar with all these elements and master all these elements, you're always gonna be able to get a nice looking image with your camera. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to actually master your camera settings, we actually have another video that goes through all of that. So I will leave that down in the description box down below if you're interested in watching that. Number two is composition. Composition essentially just means how you frame up your shots. Our secret to making sure that we always have great composition is to have a detailed shot list that we can refer to. 
Oftentimes on a shoot, you're dealing with multiple things at the same time and trying to get your camera settings right. So during a shoot, if things are getting a bit too full on and we start getting a bit flustered, we can always pull up the PDF on our phone, which is usually saved on our favorites album and just go, all right, for this sequence, we need a wide shot, a medium shot and a tight shot. And then that's done. So it's a really handy thing to always have if you're feeling a little bit lost during a shoot. And if you guys are interested, we've actually prepared a beginner filmmaker PDF toolkit that you can download if you sign up to our email newsletter, link in the description box down below. The toolkit essentially contains three main PDFs that we regularly use in our everyday business when we're making videos for our own clients. So the first PDF that you get is actually our checklist for creating amazing videos, which essentially is just a list covering off all the elements that we're talking about in this video. So every time you start the video making process, you can just go through the list and just tick off each item as you go. Number two is the beginner filmmaker shot list guide, which essentially details the 10 camera angles that you can get in each sequence. Keep this PDF handy in your favorites album on your mobile phone so that you can always just bring it up on a shoot if you're feeling a bit lost. Number three is a storytelling formula guide, which essentially details each element of the hero's journey that helps you tell a compelling story each time in your videos. Going back to the third and final step of getting amazing footage, and that's lighting. Lighting is one of the most important element of filmmaking, and it is often neglected by bigger than videographers. Just understanding the principles of lighting, such as planning your shoots during sunrise or sunset if it is an outdoor shoot rather than midday when the sun is at its harshest. Shooting near a natural light source, such as a window if you're shooting indoors and don't have any artificial lights at your disposal. Or if you do have artificial lights, learning how to key light your subject properly to get the most flattering image. In terms of audio, there are also three key components in mind. Number one, music. Choosing the right music is so important because it is the key ingredient in invoking emotions out of your viewers. If you want your viewers to feel inspired, you would choose an inspiring song. Imagine how disjointed your video will be if you have a very sad scene of a person crying and then yet really happy music playing as the background. So that's why when choosing your music, it is important to ask yourself these two questions. Number one, what kind of feeling do you want your audience to feel? And number two, what kind of music will evoke this kind of feeling? And for those of you who don't know where to get your music, well, we use a music licensing site called Musicbed and they have amazing songs. By the way, this is not a sponsored post, but Musicbed, if you're listening, reach out. Number two is sound effects. This is one of the key ingredients that we neglected most when we first started out our videography careers. And this is what makes great filmmakers great because they are able to use sound effects to invite their audience into the world of their films. When someone watches your video, it is important for you to make them feel like they're actually in the scene. And to do that, you need to incorporate some sounds from the scenes itself. You want them to hear birds chirping in the garden, the wind blowing in the distance, the basketball bouncing against the court, and the thunder strike in the sky. We often incorporate voiceovers in our videos because through a voiceover, we can quickly communicate the key message of the video through to our audience. Boxing is simply more than just fighting. It's a lifestyle. That's my way. What's yours? And when it comes to voiceovers, there are basically two different types. Number one is a script-based voiceover, where you have a script and you have someone reading the script out. And number two is an interview-based voiceover. This is when you interview someone and you use what they say in the interview as a voiceover in your video. Usually we find that this produces way more candid response because you're actually sitting down and having a conversation with the person you're interviewing. Step three is to bring the story to life or also known as the editing stage. This is where we actually bring all the ingredients together, follow the recipe to cook up an amazing video. So if you do step one and step two properly, which is to do your pre-production, learn how to get great footage and audio, step three should actually be your easiest because you just need to follow the recipe. As you're editing, remind yourself of these four questions. What is the key message or story that I want to get across? What's the feeling that I want to create in the viewer when they watch my video? 
What sequence of shots do I need to put together to actually tell the story? And what audio do I need to add in there to complement the story? Once you've pieced together your story, the final part of the editing process is color grading. This is like adding the garnishing and the finishing touches to your tasty dish. Color grading is what elevates your story by making the footage pleasing to the eye. Oftentimes as beginners, we put way too much emphasis on this color grading process because we want to get the best looking image out of the camera and we completely neglect the story. But I'd say as a beginner, try to focus on the story first. You can even just shoot in a standard profile and just do some light color correction. Once you learn how to tell great stories, then you can go on to learn a bit of color grading. But most beginners get it the wrong way around. So that is the three step formula that we use to create amazing videos every time. Instead of feeling overwhelmed and discouraged when you're watching amazing videos on YouTube, you can feel inspired now and dissect them using the three step formula. Think about what elements of this three step process that the person is doing really well. Is it storytelling? Is it the composition or is it the location? Use the PDF checklist that we gave to find out what you need to improve on. Maybe you're still in the process of mastering your camera settings. Maybe you need to work on developing a more compelling stories in your videos. Cause the fact is anyone, including you can learn all these three steps. You just need to put in the time and effort to get it right. When it comes to learning any new skill, just always remember the 10,000 hour rule. The key to achieving mastery in any skill that you want to learn in life is to simply put in at least 10,000 hours of practice. If you give up before you even reach those 10,000 hours, you're never gonna reach the point of mastery. You'll never learn the skill of being able to share meaningful stories to the world through video. But if you're still watching this video up to this point, I know you're not the type of person who's gonna give up. You're the type of person who is just like us when we were complete beginners. You are the type of person who is hungry to learn. You're gonna take this three-step formula and you're gonna apply it and take your videos to the next level. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button so you get notified every time we post a new video about filmmaking, self-development and entrepreneurship. If you wanna hear more about our journey of how we went from complete beginners back in 2019 to full-time filmmakers now, please also sign up to our email and newsletter, link in the description box down below. And as I mentioned before, when you sign up, you also get our beginner filmmaker toolkit, which contains the three key PDFs that we use in our video production business when creating videos for our clients. If you ever have any questions, feel free to always just reach out to us via email at jonoandjason at gmail.com. And that's it from us guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Good job, man. Good stuff. Right. Oh.